Most people think of radioactivity as something that's dangerous. Well, it can be dangerous, but it can also be incredibly useful. Here are a few of the uses of radioactive isotopes. Just a word of caution, if you're going to use a radioactive isotope in medical manner, in other words, putting it into the human body, it should be an isotope that has a short half-life and is quickly eliminated from the body. In other words, your body is able to excrete it quickly and it doesn't hang around for long. Because you don't want that radioactivity to hang around longer than absolutely necessary. First isotope we're going to look at, we took a look at back when we did half-life. Iodine-131. Iodine is absorbed by the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland can sometimes generate a small tumor that can cause hyperthyroidism. Injecting iodine-131 into the body will get absorbed by the thyroid gland and kill the tumor. This is a method of treating hyperthyroidism. Cobalt-60 is used as a source of gamma rays that's used in gamma knife therapy. You can use it to kill cancerous cells. The downside is it can also kill healthy cells, but medical science has been able to get the beam of gamma rays down to a very, very fine point, minimizing the collateral damage to surrounding tissue. Another useful isotope is technetium-99 metastable. What this isotope does when injected into the bloodstream in conjunction with some very high-tech cameras can actually give you a very high 3D resolution image of the brain. More specifically, the vascular or bloodstream system. If you see blood vessels that are all tangled up and out of the ordinary, you know there's probably, they're probably feeding a tumor. So you can use this to detect brain tumors. Nuclear reactors use uranium-235 to undergo nuclear fission to produce electricity. One of the byproducts of this is plutonium-239, which can also be used as nuclear fuel in nuclear power plants. Uranium-235, enriched to at least a 3% critical mass concentration, is the fuel that's used in nuclear power plants all over the world. Uranium-238 has a half-life of 4.5 billion years. It's been determined that the oldest rocks on Earth contain about 50% of their original concentration of uranium-238. Using this method, it's been determined that the age of the Earth is approximately 4.5 billion years. Another useful isotope is carbon-14. Carbon-14 can be used as a tracer in organic reactions, and it can also be used to date dead stuff. Do you ever have one of those Friday nights where just nothing seems to be going right? and you have nowhere to go and nothing to do, well, you too can date dead stuff with carbon-14. Carbon-14 can be used to determine the age of objects that are created out of once living organisms. For example, if you've got an ancient scroll that you want to authenticate, all you have to do is find the ratio of carbon-14 to nitrogen-14, the thing it decays into, and you can find out how many half-lives old the object is, and by extension, how long the material the object is made of has been dead. And finally, americium-241 is used as an ionizing source in your smoke detector. Without the ionizing source of the alpha decay, your smoke detector would not be able to operate.